Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. We're working on our granny square bag today and we're going to be sewing in the lining. So get your folded and ironed piece on top of your square and just line it up. Make sure the iron folded edge is on top facing the top of your work and line it up along the bottom edge along the sides and we're just going to estimate where our pockets are going to be so just start on this top edge over here and we're just going to sew down that side so and you're going to want to do a little bit of reinforcing along that edge because that'll take a little bit of pulling when you put things in and out of your pockets so put your presser foot down and reinforce that edge a little bit and keep going towards the corner At the corner, keep your foot down, press your foot up and turn your work. We're just going to stitch along this bottom edge to keep everything flat. Saves us from pinning. And it doesn't matter anywhere here because this is all going to be hidden when we join it together. Before you get to the end, put your needle down, press your foot up and turn your work. And we're just going to sew up this last side and reinforce it when you get to that top edge. Hook up, needle up, and cut your thread. So now we have one big pocket. Now we're going to be dividing it into whatever size pockets you would like. I'm going to make one for probably my mobile phone, which I always have with me. So decide how big you want that to be, reinforce the top, and just stitch straight down to the bottom of the bag. Reinforce at the bottom and cut your thread. Next pocket, uh, I'm thinking maybe for a pen or a crochet hook. So I'm going to make a skinnier pocket but bigger than a hook and bigger than a pen because you don't want to have to push it inside. You want it to just slip in. So maybe about an inch, a little less than an inch, three quarters, and just sew that one down straight to the bottom of the bag as well. And everything up and cut your thread. And maybe one more pocket or that's enough. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's looking good. So we have our pieces ready. This is the strap for the center of the bag, like the edge of it and the handle. And we have our two pieces here. The same, we have stitched the pocket onto this side. So now we will sew the edge, this, this side on. So where your seam is, I have two seams here and there. So I'm just going to make sure they're inside my bag. I don't want those on my shoulder. So line it up along the edge of your square and then we're just going to open it up. Once it's lined up, you can pin it if you want to pin. I'm not much of a pinner. And we're going to start joining up here. Oh, also, on this one, we're also folding it down. We don't want that. So this is our top edge. Just fold it down, giving yourself about a half inch or one centimeter seam allowance there and there press it a bit good now line it up so I'm just lining it giving myself a seam allowance of about a quarter inch and then I'm just gonna flip this open and stitch down that seam where we did pressing and put your foot down and do a little back and forth here my needle down and all the way to the end of this seam keep an eye where the end of your row is and make sure your foot is down 
in your work and press her foot up and turn and just rotate this and open it the same way so you're going to line it up leaving yourself a seam allowance and put your foot down and sew along this edge Again, before this edge, keep your needle down and lift your presser foot. Turn your work. Line it up, making sure you're leaving your seam allowance again. Where is this guy? There we are. Like that. And keep sewing. Remember to keep this end folded down. That is your top hem of your bag. And reinforce this area here when you get to the end. Needle up and you can cut your threads. So that is one side of our bag. We did the right sides together, by the way. So this side is ready. So the, so the side is sewn onto one of your squares. And get your other square. So on this one, I'm gonna fold down the top edge again and just give it a little push with my fingers. We could have done this also with the iron before we came down to do our stitching or moved over to do our stitching. And now we're gonna start the same way. So put your folded edge down and get this side lined up, the handle of your bag and the top of your bag, we can line these up and move everything over so it's lined up along the edge. So this is a bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. So everything's lined up. We have a bit of a seam allowance and our edge is folded over. Maybe you can see. Our edge is folded over here. And slide this underneath your oops, presser foot. Open up your band, your handle, and we're just gonna stitch right in that crease we made again and do reinforcing. So back and forth a few stitches. And sew all the way down in that crease. When you get to the end, keep an eye on it and remember to put your foot down or your needle down and then your presser foot up and rotate everything around. Now we're going to stitch the bottom of your bag. So press your foot down and keep going along this side. Needle down, press her foot up and turn. And foot down, needle down, and st stitch along this side. And this side, make sure your, your edge is the same. You can adjust it a little bit and stitch to the end. Reinforce it and 
needle up and you can cut your yarn, um, cut your thread. There we are. So now our bag liner is ready for our bag. So now we get our bag. It doesn't matter which way. We're putting the pretty side out and the pretty side in. So we're not inciting this liner. We're just putting it in straight as it is. So grab it and tuck it inside your bag. Like that. Now the only place we're going to be pinning it I hope you can see this. Is this corner here. So we're going to have our edge yarn sticking out. Where are my needles? There they are. My pins. So I'm pinning along this side. Like that. And I'm going to pin up the handle. Like that. And if you think about how you're sewing, you can put your needles in or your pins in. So the presser foot is coming towards the point. And you can just pull it out as you get closer. You don't want to put your pin in the opposite way where you have to put your presser foot towards the head of the pin because that is pain in the booty. So we did that side. We're going to do that for all four of these corners. So our handle area looks like that. So two pins and the rest we're not going to worry about pinning, just this. So we're doing the same on this other side. So now both sides are done. And we're just going to start stitching this together. So now you're going to change your stitch size to a little bit bigger. Maybe like, I'm going to do about a four and a half for my stitch size. You can start any which way. I'm just gonna start here because it's easy for me. Try to keep it in focus. I'm gonna wiggle it underneath your foot. And needle down, press your foot down. And you can also take out this needle now, this pin. Reinforce your stitch and get to this corner here. So I have my needle down, press your foot up and turn. I've taken my next needle out, my pin. And now you're going to make sure your crochet fits your bag. So whichever one you have to pull or push or get in there, you want them to be the same size. So I'm stretching my liner, press your foot down, and off we go. Getting close to this handle here, so I'm going to take this pin out because I don't want to go over it, so I'll break my needle. There we go. I'm one stitch past the seam, needle down, press her foot up, and turn your work. Oh, the mine is very chunky here. Oh, 
she was. I, uh, I hope your machine is strong enough to get over that chunk there. I have quite a strong machine, which I'm glad at moments like this. And now same thing up the handle. You want to keep the lining just showing your, just at the edge of your trim yarn. Press your foot down and work your way up the handle. back to where we started. So reinforce your stitch, needle up, and you can cut your thread. So that is half our bag stitched or one side of it. We're going to do the same thing on the next side. So exactly the same. Let's get our handle out of the way. Our lining ready to go and our pin out of the way and we start always start by reinforcing your stitch and then to the corner needle down press your foot up and turn it over that chunk. There we go. My threads are everywhere. And now up this handle. And you can kind of roll in this side if it's not the right size. Or you can also stretch out your crochet at the join where it might be a bit small. So press your foot down and up this side of the handle. Make sure you take your pins out before you get over here to the corner. Press her foot up, needle down, press her foot up and turn your bag again. To get this last side ready. Press your foot down and let's finish this side.
reinforce your stitches and needle up and you can cut your thread. And our bag is lined. Lined, it has pockets. That's great. So now you can trim all your threads. I have extra threads because I've ripped this apart to do it twice. Uh, just cut your threads and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this cal. I totally did. Um, and I'd love to see your finished work. If you want to post it on our Facebook group, I'd love to see it. So thanks for watching you guys and stay hooked.